Hello everyone, today we are going to speak about geometric transformations like move, mirror, rotate, array, etc. First we are going to speak about move. We can type move and find uh, translate um, or move an object along a vector that we can also find it inside the tab for transform. Uh, let's consider we want to uh, move a rectangle. I can draw the rectangle inside my Rhino screen and uh, set it inside my grasshopper using the component curve. I want to move this uh, object along a vector. So I'm going to connect the curve into the geometry input of the move component and the T ask, uh, asks for a vector. We can use different vectors. Uh, the most uh, common ones are X, Y, Z vectors, which is like unit X that you can just uh, move it inside uh, vector X or vector Y, vector Z that can be in 3D. By default, it uses a vector uh, Z with uh, an amount of uh, 10. But if we uh, add, if we connect vector X, it uh, starts moving in the direction of X, and we can add number to define how much it will be uh, moved. As you see, when it's on zero, there is no move, and as we increase the number, the placement of the new rectangle is uh, 26 centimeters uh, away from the original one. Also, we can use vector y and using the same amount. You can see that the direction is in the y, y vector. And for uh, Z, you can also do this. The other way to use a vector is using X, Y, Z vector, which uh, asks uh, for three inputs of X, Y, Z and uh, makes a vector out of it. Okay, we can make a vector using these three um, inputs and also we can connect the vector display to better see this vector. This asks uh, for the vector and also for the point to start from and um, we can use the component uh, name area that uh, takes the geometry and gives the center point of it as you see in here it also gives the area of the uh, geometry at the centroid which is important for us now so you can see that this vector that we have uh, made using this is x y z it is used to transform this shape from uh, this place to this new location. Another way is using a vector to point, which is also located in the vector tab in here, uh, as in the other um, types of vectors. And uh, for this uh, component, you need to input two points like I can just con make a vector inside my uh, Rhino using two points and input them inside my grasshopper so this is the first point and this is the second one and now 
This vector can also be used as the placement for my new location. As you see, this uh, vector is not exactly on the, these two points and the reason is that it starts from this point. If I connect this point as the first point, you can see that the vector is shown based on these two points. And it places this as a shape based on this vector to the new location. So this was about the move component. The next thing we can use as a transformative uh, operation is using the component mirror. The mirror component is also inside the transform uh, tab and inside this part. We can connect the geometry to the geometry input and instead of asking for a vector in here we have a plane so it asks for a plane and the default for the plane is uh, yz so uh, it, uh, it is based on this plane and as you see it's making a mirror of this geometry inside this place. If I um, change the placement of this uh, geometry, I can see that mirror also will be changed. But there are different planes that we can use for our uh, mirror. We can use XY plane and when it's uh, on XY plane, it makes the mirrored version of this object on top of itself unless we make this object a little bit upper i mean if we move this object first let's see like this and we add in the z value of like a 2 so now I will also hide it inside my rhino and grasshopper and uh, connect this geometry that is located upper than the XY plane I can see that the mirror, mirrored object uh, is located uh, below itself and also in front you can see that it is uh, located there the other things you can use is using the plane XZ and as you see uh, it's making a mirror from this plane but how can we change the original of the planes because uh, by default it's located on the zero zero which is the uh, origin of our um, XYZ plane but we can also change the placement of this uh, origin to like one point in here so I can use the point and bring it into my grasshopper screen now this new plane is created in here and I can see the mirrored version of my uh, geometry in this place or I can also use one of the points of my uh, geometry and how can I do this is by using the component names explode So the explode component is inside the curve tab in the utilities here. If I connect the curve to the curve input, it uh, gives me oh sorry I was uh, working with uh, 
the, this one that I don't need anymore. I can just use uh, the curve that is on the plane. And uh, so uh, by using this explode component, I can take the uh, I can extract the vertexes of my geometry and using one of them using this item component I can extract just uh, one of the vertexes and add it to the original plane so now my plane is located exactly on this vertex it's uh, based on the origin of this vertex and the mirror geometry is here I can also use a plane based on uh, not using x, y and this default planes but by making it and the way to do it is by using the construct plane component You can find it in vector tab and in the plane part and it asks uh, for um, origin and also for two vectors of x and y so the origin i will say this this uh, point in here and it asks uh, for two directions i can say any direction like i can define this uh, this line that I'm drawing in here as it's uh, one vector so I'm using the curve component and adding this line to it and define it as one of my uh, vectors and the other one I will say just the z which is a default vector so now this is my new plane and if I connect this plane to my uh, mirror component I can see that uh, let's just get rid of these extra lines um, so this was the original plane and original shape that I had and the mirror version is this one or I can add any other vectors that I want like the vectors that we made in here we can add this vector as the x value and this is the mirrored version based on that vector next uh, we are going to speak about rotate component the rotate component um, can be called by typing rotate and it's uh, rotate an object in a plane or I also can find it inside the transform tab and in the Euclidean part. I can add uh, the curve to the geometry. It asks uh, for the angle. And by default, it's uh, based on gradients, but I can also right click on it and select degrees. And I can give a slider like from 12 to 120 degrees and connect it to the angle and the next part that is very important is the plane or the origin that this um, rotation is based on as you see here the rotation is uh, based on the default which is 0 0 but I can also make this rotation based on like uh, the centroid of this uh, geometry so I can type area and add this component to the area and extract the centroid as the origin for the plane also as we spoke earlier we can uh, use the vertexes of this uh, geometry as the origin for our rotation and the way to do it was using explode and adding the curve to the curve input and extracting one of the vertexes using the, using the list item
can change the index and have the rotation based on different vertexes and we can change the angle to see the result the next operation is a scale and we have two types of it first we are going to speak about the scale that uh, works in the three directions of x, y, z equally and it's also in the transform tab and inside the affine for here we want to use a polygon for polygon we can type polygon or we can also find it inside the curve and inside the primitive tab and uh, the polygon asks uh, for a plane which is uh, the origin that this uh, polygon will be based on I want to draw a, a point in here and add it as the plane for my polygon I can also hide it uh, also it has a radius that I can use different numbers to make it bigger or smaller and the segment that asks for how many uh, sides it should have or how many segments it has let's say 8 and that's it uh, we have our polygon now we want to scale it we connect the polygon to its uh, geometry and it asks uh, for a center we can use this point as a center point or if we didn't know where uh, the center of this polygon is we can also use uh, the area component or also the polygon center as an alternative so I'm going to add this and I can use each of these uh, outputs which is uh, exactly the same as the center and it has a uh, factor which is uh, the scale factor I can put it on like 1.3 if I want to make it bigger than what it is now so this is the first polygon and this is the second one let's use custom preview to see different uh, colors of the geometry so I want the first polygon to be white I want to make um, uh, I want to make uh, the scale version in uh, like black color and also I want to have another scale as I told you and it is the scale non-uniform what does it do is that it uh, has different uh, values or factors for x and y and z direction so you can have different uh, factors for each of them and have a non-uniform scale let's connect our polygon to the geometry and the plane to its uh, origin now we can have different factors for x, y and z let's use uh, different factors for x and y because we are working on 2D Okay, as you see, uh, the, the scale version is a little deformed, it's not completely um, the same in different directions. So these are the three versions of our polygon, the first one, the scaled one with factor of 1.3 and the second one which uh, has different factors for x and y we are speaking about different operations but um, mostly for using the operation we just had one input one, uh, what I mean by this is that for example we use the move component the curve in uh, like x direction and we used a number 
But how can we have a lot of number of it? A way to do this is by using the array component. And there are different ways of array that we will speak about. The first one is a linear array. The arrays are also inside the transform tab and inside the array. There are different types. Let's just speak the, about the first one, which is a linear array. It, it asks uh, for the geometry and also for the direction. Let's say we want it to be in the x direction. We can also define the length of this uh, array, uh, which is uh, like we can make it to have overlap with the um, former geometries or being separated. We can also define how many of these geometries we want to have. By default it's on 10, but we can also make it less or more. The next operation of array, which we have in here, is a rectangular array, which makes an array of this object in two directions. It was just one direction, but here we have two. So we can use the same geometry, and it asks uh, for a cell, and what cell means is the um, the distance between this um, geometry with the next one and by default uh, is on 10 and 5 which is a width of 10 and height of 5 but uh, we can also make a rectangle and use it as our cell so using rectangle component which is also in the curve and uh, like polygon, it's in the primitive part. And um, we can define it with two numbers of x and y. Let's say we want both of these uh, numbers to be on 5. And now it's not important the origin of the uh, shape because we just want to have this cell as uh, the and dimensions. The placement is not important for us. So I'm adding this uh, rectangle to the cell and defining the x and y values and by default it is, uh, x is on 6 uh, but the y is on 3. I'm using um, a number like 4 for the x value because I want to have 4 of them in the x direction and uh, for y, I will say um, like 7. So now I have an array of this um, rectangle, uh, which was this main rectangle that we had. And it's uh, based on a cell of uh, 5 to 5 and with uh, these options of having four columns and seven rows. The other version for array is box array, which makes the array in 3D. So in here it was just one direction, in here we had two directions, and in box array we have direction for x, y, z, so three dimensions. We are adding the same um, geometry but in here for cell is uh, it asks for a box and for making a box we can we can use this uh, rectangle that we had and uh, make a box out of it we can use the component box rectangle that it's uh, in this surface part and in the primitives And add the rectangle and the height that we want it to be, like 3. And add this box to the cell. And uh, it asks uh, for x, y, z uh, that we can define for it.
for example I want to say just uh, have three um, arrays in Z direction and the same X and Y as we had before so now we see that in here we have this uh, array uh, and also we can use a surface component to make this uh, geometry is more visible and we can also add or reduce from the arrows so now this is just um, one row of X or we can add it and also the same for the Y or for the Z value next uh, there is a polar add polar array works like rotation but uh, it can have different um, numbers inside it so that it's not just for uh, making a rotated object but for making a lot of that and it asks uh, for a plane which is uh, by default on x y and the point zero zero which is the origin of the plane and it asks for how many um, objects we want to have an array of like uh, i can set it on four And also I can uh, define what the angle is. So by default it's on 2T, which is uh, 360 degrees, the whole plane. But also I can make it like 90 degrees and I should uh, change it to degrees. So you see that it's just making the array in this uh, angle. Or I can make it less or add to it we can also add to the count to make it more and this is the array polar array next I can have a curve array and it asks for a geometry and a curve uh, if I have this kind of curve in here and I want to have my geometry based on um, to be arrayed on this curve and I can say how many of this um, geometry I want to have let's say I want to have four I can also change the placement of the curve uh, to make it more clear as you see, if the geometry is uh, in the start of my curve, it can be placed in different parts of it. Or if I rotate it, you can see the same happens. So it's always the flow of the curve. Okay, we spoke about the uh, array options, but an alternative for using this uh, component is by using the, uh, for example, in case of moving the object, is uh, by using the move component, by, but uh, using a list of the values as the factor for the x uh, vector. So instead of just putting the value of 2, we can define different uh, numbers and add these uh, numbers by a panel to the factor value of the x vector. And as you see, now we have different of this, um, a number of this curve. If we make the numbers in an order like 
these numbers the placement of the curves were in an order like what we had in the array component so this is what exactly it was working in the array component but uh, instead of writing these components we have something named numerical sequences and there are two important um, types of numerical sequences which is series and range most of them are located inside uh, the uh, list in the, inside the sets and in the sequences 